Hello there and welcome to hopefully another new series on this channel but today we're not just going to be putting minifigures inside a playset and calling it a day no we will be reworking the interior only removing bricks I don't want this to cost any more bricks than it already does because the ATTE is not a cheap set but it is a massive set and it is designed for in universe carrying a whole load of clone troopers it is really just a clone carrier at this point i get that it's actually a tank in universe but we do want to fill it with clone troopers today so i have a bunch of them here in my little ziploc bag that we'll be trying to fit in pulling out a few different seat rests and a few different ammunition crates that honestly we could definitely do without and filling it jam-packed with clones if you didn't see my other series i turned the tantive not only into a diorama which I guess is a long running series at this point, but also turned it into a battle pack, not using any of the pieces I use from the diorama, and it does look like a really cool battle pack. So I think it definitely does battle pack. Definitely check that out, and I'll be leaving a community poll in the community tab with both of these series. And go over there if you want to see more, or perhaps you weren't a fan of them and would like your vote to show that. Head over there, vote for either this series, the other, both or none. There's all the options that you can imagine. Perhaps I should leave an other just to cover all grounds. But today we do have a few pieces that I will be using just to help me position the troops. And that is these 1x3 jumper plates. You can see they are 1x3 bricks on the bottom. And there's two studs on the top because if you didn't know, minifigures are only three bricks wide. Which is really cool because they only then have to cover a 3x2 brick ground. And even then you can probably loop in some of the arms. But I don't think we'll be going that far today. So I've got these pieces just to help me lay them out. Of course, if you don't have these pieces, you can just whack them in loose or perhaps... We won't even need these pieces in this video, but of course, let's get to the desk and take a look how many minifigures we can fit in the Republic ATTE. So, first off, I would like to say the carry handle for the ATTE makes it so easy to lift around, and I really hope we get a few more sets with the carry handles from Lego. But it's pretty easy to open the ATTE, in fact, you get sort of this ramp at the bottom, and then this panel lifts up, which can only go so far. So for the purpose of this video, and so you can much easily see it, I will be popping that straight off. And then again, this panel does also pop off with the turret. But once again, it's only two hinges holding it on. So we can pop that off and just put these to the side. And now that we've cracked this open, I'm just going to quickly dust it down. And what I use to dust is this keyboard gel, which honestly... There's no reason I use this brand besides how cheap it is and the fact you can easily get it on Amazon. So I could leave the affiliate down in the description if you're interested. But I find it just gets in all the different cracks that I guess a makeup brush would probably be a lot better for your Lego. But if you don't want all this dust getting into the air settling on all your other Lego, I definitely recommend a Keeble Gel. And you'll also know that these pieces aren't actually meant to go on the set. Now I have robbed the ATTE of the pieces here. I actually used them in my Door of the Fates diorama to get the doors to open and close in front of Maul. So I've tried to replace them with grill tiles. They match what's on the side so it doesn't look too bad. But just in case you were wondering. And the first minifigure doesn't actually go inside here at all. As we do have a turret on top. So if I pour out all of my clone troopers and I don't think we'll be fitting them all. I mean... I'm open for any sort of surprises, but we'll just grab the first one. It's got to be this gunner here and there's no studs on this, but you can still sit the minifigure in it and it's held in pretty nicely. So we've got our first minifigure in and now our second one is, of course, the pilot of the ATT. We need a driver. There's only one chair in here. You could arguably get a second one in. There isn't a second one in the show, so we're not going to pull any parts across. But if you did have two pilots, you can definitely pull one of or both of these antenna pieces off and get another one seated in the middle. But this is good enough for me. So we've got our pilot and we're going to sit them just back on the front here. You do need to fold the arms up by the looks just to get the minifigure in. So... I'm not sure if that'll be a problem with the second, but we can also clip these side bits open. There's so many different, not even play features, just accessibility features where you can just fold these up, 
even open the back out real nice and wide and arguably even with the front just so you can get in at every angle and this really does help us because the first part of displaying figures and troopers here is going to be this two seat stand here with a spanner first off spanners are very nice for getting certain bricks off of each other especially with the smaller tiles and just areas the big brick separator cannot reach but we are going to be removing both of these in fact we're even going to be removing this two by two tile which arguably does need a brick separator but now that we've got this six by four panel we could extend it further by taking these two out but in fact i'm just going to fill up this six by four panel with a bunch of random troopers and as i said because you've only got that six by four space we could take these inside bits out but we don't want to modify the att too much this is just removing mini accessories and putting the troopers down so i'm going to grab four of these three by two panels and as you'll soon see if we place them just in a strip in the middle you can fit your four troopers just connected to them studs it doesn't matter if they're front to front back to back I'm going to do it front to front so they've got a bit of company and can talk to each other whilst they're in here and it's also just much easier to clip on although it does look like they are very very close but we can fit four troopers instead of two you might have to raise one of the arms but this is the best way of making the most of your space getting a bunch more troopers in here and especially if like me you don't have a dedicated storage space fitting a bunch of troopers in here this is definitely not fitting all my 501st but i could probably fit all my 212 and 187th legion and probably even get the shock troopers somewhere at the back so we've got another four that brings our total up to six i'll have a on-screen counter somewhere just in case you are struggling to follow along but now we've removed these weapon crates we also have a few different spots in here you can see at each weapon crate you can fit another clone trooper and there's enough headroom to wiggle them in without much hassle you can even get some of the heavies from the battle packs with their backpacks on and make up some nice room with that space and there's also a, another panel just in here we won't try and whack any of the clones under here though i'm sure there's space for a few if you don't mind having a little struggle to get them out but we can get a, another clone trooper just on the studs down here again we are going to be clipping them in so we do want to line them up with the studs this one is proving to be a little more difficult perhaps we can lay them back to get them in the slot pretty easily or um, we might need to run with this one in reverse but we can get a total of seven clone troopers in this first slot because they are offset from each other there's no bumping of heads besides i guess these two here but you've got enough space to lay them back quite a little bit that's seven clone troopers and if we tip this by the two clicks and hook it back in you can see they fit very snugly yes there's more room you could probably sit a clone down here but i'm not quite sure if this would work when you're closing it up but we'll give it a try i'm open to trying a bunch of different things and as you can see actually the clone does fit in the ATTE so I guess we're gonna have to do this the other side and though I can't see it hopefully you'll be able to see it a bit clearer we're just clipping them into the studs at the side there'll be a close-up at the end of the video or perhaps I'll add a clip over the top and we just want to clip this down and hook that back in so it does seem to be a tight fit but as long as the troopers are somewhat lent back, perhaps if we put them at an angle, it might be a little easier to get them to fit because there is enough arm space for the clone troopers to the side. And as you can see, I mean, it fits. I wouldn't say it's a perfect fit because this phase two is knocked down, but the phase one seems to work. So perhaps there is a difference of helmets there. I'm going to count it anyway, there is a total of 9 troopers in there which brings our total up to 11, you just have to play around with this clone a little bit. Now moving on to the back we've had a slight change of camera angle just so we can see it a bit more clearly. Now one change we can't make is at the back here we've got a little gunner, we don't want to remove that because we want the clones to be able to defend themselves 
but we can still remove all of these middle pieces just to get that extra clone in the middle and you can see that because they have sat two clones side by side separated them by one plate difference in the middle we're not going to be able to get any more clones in there in fact i'm not sure if we'll be able to get some clones on the outside bit here but we'll definitely be giving it a go so there's only one little accessory pack in there i'm not quite sure if there's meant to be two or if it just gives you the space to whack another one perhaps you could even get one from the advent calendar but let's start filling it with clones and we'll start with these far corners so we can get another guaranteed three just at the back here which is very nice for filling up the ATTE and brings our total I believe to 14 studs so as you can see no backpack and the phase one helmet is much easier to fit in the back there so perhaps you'd have more luck fitting some phase one clone troopers but the phase two don't take up much extra space so we'll get another few phase one and two clone troopers in here on their regular seats you might have to play around with the arms and lean a few of them over but i'm sure in the end you'll be able to fit just as many as i will if not a few more we will be taking out this middle stump as well because we do want to fit as many figures as we can and it's proven to be a bit difficult to take this one out but once you manage to remove it that's another clone trooper we'll be adding to our collection and i've actually already lost count so it's a good thing that there's a counter on screen for you but i believe this is the 17th clone trooper that will be sitting in the middle we can get another three next to them in fact i've just seen there's a mug down here so i'm wondering if we can get a bunch around the outside we'll get to that later because we do have a slight problem in the middle here with the clone troopers but because i've got some of these one by three plates on the outside we will have to remove the little one which is a handy reason to keep your spanner around because you can just pop it out i try not to cover me doing this too much but the spanner should be able to get underneath this tile as long as it's one with the groove and there we go pop it back up as well as some of the other minifigures so that was the 17th minifigure 18th minifigure 19th minifigure as long as we put this one in first and then we're already at 20 minifigures and we don't even have a gunner on the gunners station so we will get this 187th this windows legion clone and put that man in the gunner at the back i am very intrigued to see if we can get a clone just sat in here with it still closing and it does seem to fit just as long as we can close the top on top i guess we've just got to wait to see if that's possible so one on both sides leads us up to 23 minifigures and hopefully if we can get a few more on the side here just leaning in that brings us up to a total of 25 clone troopers i honestly don't think that we can do much better than that i can't really see the other side from my angle so hopefully this is being clipped in the right space and i think that has got to be all the clones we can fit it's definitely a tight squeeze and as you can see we can still close the entrance to it i might try and get an extra minifigure just leaning over in here because it's not exactly how they would be in universe just standing up leaning over but if we can get an extra two clones in here i mean i don't think that's been clipped off so i guess it does count for something and it also helps to keep some of the other clones down on their tiles because there are a few loose connections in here and it's not going to be the easiest to try and remove them all quickly they're not going to be able to be deployed for battle as quick as if you only had a handful of them in but if we can clip that one in close it up and as long as we can get the lid on i think that counts for 27 clone troopers so all you need to do is reconnect the top bits by again using these clips that just clip down on the top you might have to support the bottom because i'm not quite sure how easy it's meant to be to clip these on and off it's not exactly a play feature that lego have outlined but 
once you do get them clipped on you can see that the top has gone down we could definitely fit an extra two clones in there but i think 27 is enough and then we get the bottom half of it as well which has a bunch of stickers but there's some of the best stickers i guess from lego compared to a few sets recently like the tantive midi scout ship and as you can see it clips on there are no extra gaps you can see a few clones through the side bit here but it's nothing different to what's on the other side and what it was before so as you can see you could probably try and squeeze that in a bit more but there are 27 clones in this ship i'm including the turrets being inside it's technically on top but that's not meant to come off but as you can see the atte is ready for battle 20 five in the back a clone trooper in the front a clone trooper on top and i'm sure that's just enough to combat a battalion of droids which is about 64 droids which i guess probably not a battalion i don't know if i'm using that word correct but a whole chunk of battle droids they're usually launched in 64s which just goes to show how skillful these clones were and you also get a bunch of these extra pieces of course not the one by threes i didn't end up using as much as i thought i would but a bunch of fairly handy pieces these aren't too common and also all the accessories which i'm sure you can just give to the clones to hold but i hope you enjoyed watching this video so 27 clones fit easily into the attte which i think is very impressive and Definitely a selling point Lego should add to their site. At some point soon, especially with May 4th coming up, I'd love to get my hands on the new Coruscant Guard gunship and perhaps I can fit the rest of my clones in that. So there'll be another video for sure when that comes out. If you do want to see more of these with other models of ships and perhaps not even Star Wars sets, just how many clones fit in a certain set, do let me know which set you'd like to see in the comments below and drop a like on this video to see more, subscribe for more awesome Lego content and as always, may the bricks be with you. Oh, and there'll also be a short for the Bad Batch shuttle.